This is the plus side of Nashville. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Tawanda Coleman. I'm glad you're here. It's a joy for me to feature organizations on the plus side who bring hard work out the best in their youth. Plant the Seed is a nonprofit working to help kids grow a better world. They're doing so by getting them out of the classroom and into the garden. The organization's founder is here, and we'll talk to her about how and why they work with children to plant the seed of knowledge on gardening. But first, the ability to express oneself poetically through words is a special creative talent, whether it's through the lyrical crafting of the written word or the spoken word. It's also therapeutic and it can be a lot of fun. Southern Word is an organization that works with more than 7,500 youth each year, helping them to develop their voices. And here to tell us more about it is Southern Word's executive director and writer mentor, Benjamin Smith, along with Sean Witzel, who's also a Southern Word writer mentor. Welcome to you both. Thanks Thank for you. having us. So glad to learn about this organization. I was telling you before we before we started that I used to never ever want to talk in, in public or speak in front of people. But you all are really helping to bring this out of a lot of young people. You've been in in, a, in a, as an organization for what ten years. Mm -hmm. How did this organization get started? Well. Um when we first started, this work, Spoken Word Youth Development and Education, had already been proven successful for 10 years in advance of this. So we saw it in other cities being effective, thought it would be happening here already, but it wasn't. As we started doing workshops around the city and taking young people to a slam, a national slam, we realized it wasn't happening. There was a huge need for it. There was a lot of support from the, the poets who were working with us from the youth development professionals and college professors who are working with us, and we felt like we had to keep on going. So when we talk about the spoken word or poetry slams, and some people may know that, that those terminologies and know, know those, um, those how it's been described, but how would you describe what you all do with these young people? Um, I would call it performance poetry, because it's not just about the words, but it's about the, the voice, the body, and it's about connecting with their truth and being able to communicate that and to do so with excellence. And that's what we work with the students to do. Well, I know last year you all were in, what, 67 Tennessee schools, um, working with lots and lots of young people. How many schools are you working with currently in the Metro Nashville area? We probably have about 30 partners in Davidson County Schools, and that's elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, and we're also at, at colleges and universities. You start at elementary school? We start um, Explore Community School, J.E. Moss are a couple mm -hmm. great elementary school partners. Um, young people are natural poets and performers, <laughs> so it's a wonderful time to, to connect with them. <laughs> well, I introduced you all as a writer mentor, Sean. How would you define what you do with these young people? What's your role? Well, as a writer mentor, I go into a space. Uh, a lot of times it's the classrooms, but we also do work in community centers and libraries, and we have curriculums that we teach. We want to reinforce those things that they're already learning or have learned in English classes. We want to support the teacher, but also bring in some freshness, and um, we want to help them communicate with, we want to help them connect with their voice and being able to communicate that and, and to do so to the best of their ability and to show them that it's not just something that this person is blessed with or this person is gifted but they can be developed writing can be developed and giving them the confidence to be able to stand in front of anybody at any time and to speak with conviction so I, that's what it's about well I think that's so important what you just said the confidence mm -hmm. uh, you know because sometimes shyness is lack of confidence mm -hmm. and so giving them that confidence how does the program work how do you identify what students get to be a part of this well, most of our work happens in the schools, and we identify, usually it's teachers who find us and um, sell it to their principals. Um, I feel like we could be in every, every English classroom in the state. Uh, English teachers, because they're so in tune with where their young people are at, get this immediately. They get the engagement need that exists, they get the literacy need, um, they get the diversity challenges that we have as a society. Um, and they get the social, emotional, and mental health challenges that are really um, huge hurdles for us as a society right now. Um, so that's where we start. Uh, 
And so that's how we gain access to, to, to the classroom. Then after school, we'll find nonprofit partners who have after school programs and work with them. The National Public Library is a great partner and one of the few places where we have our core workshop where people who get highly engaged come and write with us every week. And that's a lot of the young people who people have seen in front of thousands of people around town performing. That's, uh, that's where they come to to develop those skills. So I know you start with the, the spoken word, but you also work with them as just far as writing skills, which are so important in life. Mm -hmm. So does the English program work with, with you guys on that as well, English teachers? And how do you work with them in the writing skills? Well, if people, we say spoken word and people think we're not writing, but like we start with writing their story. Yes. And it's towards the end, we don't like them being able to speak until they've written something beautiful about themselves or about their past, something beautiful that represents themselves, and then we speak it. And I think a lot of people are confused about that, and I think that's a problem, because we are teaching young people to write and to speak essential communication skills. Mm -hmm. And we do it also in other genres, we do it in fiction, and we do have journalism mentors. But across the board, whether we're in writing or in music, we're about giving young people the tools to represent themselves, to define and shape their identity and voice in the face of media that's projecting constantly at them who they should be and who they're allowed to be in this world. And we want to give that power to young people in, in as many ways as we can. I love this program. It's very much needed. But we're going to learn more about it. We've got to take a break. We'll take a break and we'll be back with more on Southern Word right after this. This is a Storm 5 weather update. For weather on the go, download the Storm Shield app.